All right, mixing ink. It's just like mixing paint. Um, keep in mind um, that your darker colors are the most potent. So I'm going to make a purple. So I'm going to start with red. It is red and blue, um, but between red and blue, red is um, less dominant. And then I'm going to get a little bit of blue to make the dark purple. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you are cleaning off the palette knives um, when you're done, and you definitely don't want to, you always want to take a clean knife to get your new color. You, you don't want cross-contamination because that's going to waste my ink, and I will not be happy. So, um, it's a little tricky if you're going to do purple. Purple is really, really hard to make out of just a dark blue and a red. Um, I am going to add some white to tint it a little bit. It's going to look more maroon than purple um, because it's really hard to get a fancy purple that you buy in a store. Um, this is more of a true purple um, and it's, it's going to be pretty dark. Okay, so once you have your colors, you're just um, going to start mixing. Um, I'm going to see, I'm not sure that's enough blue, so I'm just going to mix it first and then we'll see what happens and you'll start to see the color change as I'm working new colors in. color is pretty much mixed. Again, it's a more of a, a dark maroon. I'm ready to print.